Alright guys, time for another post bag. Uh, excited for this because some of these items have been in transit for quite a while. We'll see which ones actually arrived. Alright, so we'll start with this one. Oh, this actually arrived quite quickly. Um, so what this is, is it's an air pump. And it appears it was repurposed from some other um, thing, but it was plenty cheap. So it's an air pump um, that I'm going to use, and some silicon tube, that I'm going to use to aerate my etch tank um, that I'm using to etch circuit boards. So we'll uh, connect that up and see how it works. But yeah, this has uh, been removed from some other application. You can see the solder left over. Should work for my purposes though, so we'll see. And then this one. Aha! This is an Alice 110-1983 order. So these are PCB drills. Um, I recently got a rotary tool, not from Dremel, um, but a Chinese one. Uh, and these will offer me quite a few different sizes. Let's see how does this open here. So I think it goes from 0.3 millimeter on this side, and this is really small, um, all the way up to uh, I think it was what does that say? 1.2. Anyway, so these will come in very handy for uh, PCB milling or not milling, sorry, um, ra uh, drilling the holes for uh, through-hole components in PCBs. So I bought a um, mains socket. This actually has a fuse holder in here. I didn't realize that it had that. It's quite nice. Um, and um, Or does that go in there like that? Yeah, so then and a switch. Um, I'm going to make a variable power supply um, using a DC to DC converter just for you know lab bench stuff. Um, and I wanted a way to get the AC into the box. And then I'm I have a I think I'm going to use a laptop power supply from this, an old laptop power supply, which should have plenty of power and I can put that in on the input side of the DC to DC and then uh, change the outputs with 10 turn potentiometer so I already have the kind of the guts of it working um, but um, it's multiple different boxes tied together by wires so I want to make it all put together and nice um, the next item here is a current and high side voltage um, detector. I can't remember the name of it. Well, there it is, INA219. Um, I think this is 12-bit, but it might be 10-bit. I can't remember for sure. Um, but it has a kind of a 1-ohm resistor um, there uh, that is using as a shunt resistor to measure the current over that. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using this because I uh, as you saw in the last mailbag video, I have since then got the 16-bit uh, ADC for channel, and I may just use um, a shunt resistor with that, uh, or uh, a Hall effect sensor for current sensing um, with that for the voltmeter um, project coming up here. But uh, this is a neat little unit, and it is I squared C. Um, you can see, let me refocus that, you can see SCL, SDA, VCC ground, and then I, uh, I think these are just duplicated from these inputs up here, which would, this would be the power inputs, so, yeah, those are pretty beefy tracks you can see there. Yeah, so, um. We'll see if I use that, but it's a pretty neat module. 
and it came with um, this um, screw terminal block and a, a header for the I squared C side. This item is a small I squared C based um, OLED, um, which uh, I'm thinking I may use for the voltmeter project because it's you know, nice and small and um, and for some reason it's hard to find the full size ones in I squared C and that way it's just fewer ports to deal with so. Um, we'll see if there's enough throughput on the bus, but I think I will probably be using this one. Uh, this item here is the kind of, it's colloquially referred to as the blue pill on the internet. Oh wow, that got, you can see the, this whole header block got pretty mangled up. We'll have to straighten that out. But what this is, is a STM32F board and it's like the cheapest one you can get um, it's like two dollars I think is that going to focus? no it's not, alright um, so uh, this comes with a serial bootloader which you have to program, I think it's on uh, pins A9 and A10 um, uh, but you can also program it through the um, using the ST-Link um, uploader through there, uh, and these are just really cool because you get a 32-bit uh, ARM processor for two dollars, and you can use them for interesting things. One thing you can do with these is you can program them with the Black Magic firmware, uh, which is a JTAG type debugging board. Um, so it's kind of useful if you want to have uh, debugging on other boards. Um, so, anyway, I already have one of these, but I wanted a second one so that I could use one of them up for uh, that Blackmagic firmware. Anyway, we'll see what I do with this. Taking a look at the eBay listing for these items, we see the air pump here with the silicone tubing. This came from 94racing-us. Uh, the total was $2.57 with free shipping. And a little lower here, you can see the items from Alice 110-1983. These were the STM32 minimum development board, the PCB drills, the high side voltage and current sensor, which is I squared C, the small I squared C OLED, and the uh, mains power socket with switch. These items were a total of $10.89 with $2.50 shipping. You hear today's post bag items. And is that it? Looks like that's it.